next uh, four weeks. Okay. So thank you so much for listening to the reminders. So nating kakalimutan. Importante po sa yung sana business natin ang ating mga cut-off, mga dates, okay, yung mga opt-in, huwag natin kalimutan. Bago pa mag-end yung contest period, kailangan naka-opt-in na po kayo dun sa mga contest na gusto nyo i-run. Right? So, uh, uh, off to our, ano, on to our uh, main topic for this evening. Okay, so for this week, our online business strategies series is all about time management. Uh, we had our first... Um, session for this one on Tuesday and then we had one another one um, yesterday and tonight we have our speaker Dr. Michelle Agustin, uh, one of our executive co-directors of Yusana Philippines to talk about time, time being your enemy and uh, something that you should manage. On title po ng training natin tonight is time is your enemy, manage it. Okay, napakaganda ano po, no? Very exciting kasi um, challenge po yan sa lahat, uh, sa maraming tao yung pagmamanage ng time. And so, let me just give you the uh, a background of our speaker for tonight. Yung speaker po natin is a pediatrician. Um, her name is Michelle Edelweiss Castillo Agustin, um, uh, MD, DPPS. Okay, she got her um, pre-med at UST as registered medical technologist. Um, she's a doctor of medicine at St. Luke's College of Medicine, okay? And she had her pediatric residency at St. Luke's Medical Center in Quezon City. Uh, our speaker has uh, been practicing in prominent medical um, institutions in Metro Manila, okay? So, hindi po basta-basta yung speaker natin tonight. In her USANA uh, business, um, Dr. Agustin is a PPPS, okay? Um, she is qualified to the Leadership Summit. Uh, to um, Tokyo, Japan, and to Taiwan Team Up Step Up uh, Travel Incentive. She's also qualified. She's also qualified to the Asia Pacific Growth in Sri Lanka in 2021. Ladies and gentlemen, hindi ko na patatagalin pa. Alam kung excited na kayo at excited din po yung speaker natin. I turn you over to Dr. Michelle Agustin, our Executive Gold Director. Hi, Dr. Michelle! Hello, Ma'am Ivy. Thank you for the corporate for having me. Uh, good morning, everybody. Good afternoon and good evening. Or should I say good morning, world? Because we are not just in the Philippines, di ba? We, we are, I know, we are spread out all over the globe. So, uh, kamusta kayo dyan sa kung saang lupalop kayo ng daigdig ngayon? And we welcome you to this special training ng Yusana Corporate. So we are very fortunate to have like um, these training series that can help us guide through our ano, how to run our business. So grabe no guys, I'm super excited. We are already like ano, 561 participants and counting. So keep them coming, no? And um, I'd like to share you a part of my story, no? Uh, when Miss Lisbeth texted me uh, last weekend, a week ago, di ba? Sabi niya, Doc, are you okay? Sabi ko, about time. Naku, sakto. <laughs> Ma'am Liz, yan yung pinaka, ano, ko, challenge ko. Tapos, eto na ako ngayon. So, I'm very, ano, happy to share. Um, actually, journey ko siya. <laughs> because I can see myself as always running and keeping up with time. Oh, di ba? Guys, sino yung parang tulad ko na parang aligaga, hindi alam kung papaano isisingit ang Yosana business, di ba? So, to start with, so yan, na-introduce naman ako ni Ma'am Ivy. So, uh, I am still part-time in the business. So, I'm still in practice and I'm a mother of two. So, I would want to share to you a bit of my story, no? I would want to share to you uh, my family. So, ayan ang family ko. I belong to a family of lawyers. Usually kasi pag doctor, laging a family of doctors. Pero kasi ako, I belong to a family of lawyers. So, both uh, parents I have, no? Retired judges na sila. My mom is a retired judge of the Regional Trial Court in Malolos, Bulacan. And my dad is a retired judge ng the Regional Trial Court of Manila City Hall. So, I have, si ano, we are five in the family, magkakapatid. So, I have my kuya uh, to your left uh, most hand. He is, ano, 
Um, lahat sila naglo, ako lang nagdoktor. So, he is currently the Metropolitan Trial Court Judge in Mandaluyong together with his wife, si Attorney Nolisa Sera Castillo is doing also the business with me. So, we're doing it as a legacy talaga. So, I have one sibling na Coast Guard lawyer and I have another sibling na law graduate. Hindi na siya nag-lawyering because mas nakita niya yung sarili niya as motherhood. So, yun. Yung bunsong kapatid namin, hindi na pre-nature ng mga magulang namin talaga na mag-doktor o mag kasi uh, he was born premature. So, alam nyo, everything is okay naman. Yung typical, alam mo, profession ko, ay, alam mo yung uh, mindset na bahay, skwelahan, skwelahan, bahay, until nag-med, nag-doktor, bahay, clinic, hospital, Hospital, clinic, bahay. O, di ba, guys? Dumating sa punta ng buhay ko, nag-settle down with families. I'm a mother of two now, now me with my husband. And, ano, um, all is okay naman. But, alam nyo, na-realize ko nung time na I dive into, like, um pursuing my profession. I didn't know I was going in circles. Ako yung typical doctor na walang pahinga talaga. Alam nyo, guys, yung literal na, ano, 36 hours work. In the morning up until the afternoon, you can see me in my clinic. At night time naman, I go on duty sa hospital. So, kinabukasan, di ba, 24 hours na, di ba, kinabukasan, ililigo ka lang yan, tapos ready na ako. Viola for clinic hours ulit. So, I I go 36 hours na every other day. Grabe ba yun? <laughs> oh, every other day, nakayanan ko siya. Sabi ko, gano'n. Three days lang yung matino kong tulog. Yung tipong pag-uwi ko, wala na akong gagawin ko ni matulog. Sino sa, well, sa participants natin that can relate with me? Yung tipong wala sa kalendaryo talaga yung holiday. <laughs> Di ba? So, grabe. Work, work, work galore. Tapos, alam mo yun, 2012, nag-peak yung census ng clinic, uh, ng pasyente ko. Nag-peak yung census ng hospital. There was no room for me to rest at all. And then, really, the doctor didn't walk the talk. I wasn't into nutritionals either. I didn't believe in nutritionals at all. But, alam mo, there was this 360 degrees shift in considering nutritionals as part of my lifestyle. Oh, di ba? I was already praying for a good chunk of antioxidant. Diretso na ako mag-pray kay Lord. Lord, antioxidant na, alam mo yun. I didn't know about you, Sana. I don't know if, alam mo, you're so blessed if somebody tapped you, halika, check mo to. But ako, I wasn't like that. I prayed for antioxidant, straight to the point. Sabi ko, why antioxidant? Because it's the first level of your cellular defense. So, di ba? scientific na scientific eh. So sabi ko, Lord, ano magandang antioxidant? And alam, alam mo, lo, and behold, ang galing naman sumagot ni Lord. He led me to checking on this antioxidant of USANA, yung product ng USANA. And then, dun ko na-realize, guys, that um, so many people spend their health gaining wealth and then to have to spend their wealth to regain their health. Kasi ako yan, guys, eh, yung work, 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 di ba? So, yun yung doctor na didn't walk the talk at all. I learned the value of health talaga when I really saw my the, the lifestyle of my family talaga with the health, nagta-thrive sila. I saw that nutrition was part and parcel of the foundation to age gracefully and that I saw sa mother ko talaga. But here's the catch, guys. Hindi ko siya ginawa. The business was like, I, it was not my cup of tea. But 2015 was a turning point of me. The toxic days did not end. Alam you guys, for doctors and who's, uh, kung sino man yung nasa paramedic in the webinar right now, I think you will agree with me. Yung buhay naming mga doktor, napaka-toxic talaga. We call that lingo toxic, yung walang pahinga, literal. And it does not end. Parang tatanda na lang akong toxic pa rin. I get to spend the holidays in the hospital. Alam mo yun, maybe it Christmas, maybe it New Year, maybe it mahal na araw. You will see me there. Diba? There was no room for resting. There was no room for holiday. Because I need to be the doctor who is extraordinary. For you to have extraordinary results, you have to really be the extraordinary in your profession. So I was that. So, I had no room talaga to rest. And, ano, ito na yung parang 
point of realization when wherein I tend to value time. Oh, di ba? Parang na, naisip ko, parang nasusuka na talaga ako sa ginagawa ko. There was one duty day, I really parang pause, and talagang nagsuka ako literal sa pagod. And then, tinanong ko yung sarili ko, saan ba ako papunta? Ano direction? And that was the right panahon na, na, na sabi ko, time is more valuable than money. Everybody can generate money kasi. But you know what? yung time lumilipa siya and non-renewable talaga. Yan, saan nag-turn around talaga yung dasal ko? Lord, saan akong opportunity talaga? Alam mo, when I kept praying and praying and praying, he led me to listen to this person, si Engineer Chaps Villagracia, who is my uh, mentor in the business, di ba? Who would have thought makakadaldalan ko si Engineer Chaps? Eh, sabi niya lang sa akin yung time na yan, Doktora, gumagamit ka pa pala ng Yusana, why not ipasok mo sa discount? Sabi ko, no more, engineer, I'm just using it for my family, but I, I'm not doing the business. But alam mo yon sa several conversations namin, I didn't know she was pulling me up to make me see the realization of life and what is there na option na pwede niyang may offer. Di ba? Parang sabi ko, teka lang, parang si Lord talagang galing mag-channel talaga ng dasal, di ba? Sabi ko sa sarili ko, Lord, are you trying to say that I'm gonna do you sana? Di ba? <laughs> sabi ko, hindi ko, ayoko nga kung mausap ng tao and stuff. Guys, pero hindi yan yung topic ko. Yung compass ng ano, buhay ko talaga nag-change. Because I learned to realize the value of time. Remember, 36 hours nagtatrabaho si doktora? Walang holiday. Alam mo, iha-holiday ko, itutulog ko siya. Ayan, <laughs> di ba? So, yung time na yan really matters. Sabi nga ng isang scientist na isang associate and business partner natin in Yusana, you know, doctor, you can always generate money, but you can never generate time. So, I identified talaga kung ano talaga yung gusto ko, di ba? To cut the long story short, I was already aiming, I was trying to put that dot in my life goals, I needed time with family. So, I don't know if you guys can relate with me, di ba? So, yan ang pinaka-topic natin ngayon and I want to share you how I went through the business, di ba? First things first, guys, ang hirap talaga mag-launch talaga, mag-create ng time with you sana if you do not identify if my desire ka. Kasi number one, kailangan talaga desire. Ano ba ibig sabihin ng desire? It's the strong feeling of wanting uh, to get something or it's the strong feeling of wanting to change. Ayan. Ako naman, desire ko is the strong feeling of wanting to change. Yung routine kong paikot-ikot lang, di ba? And next thing, di ba? You have to be aware of that mindfulness, di ba? Remember, the mindfulness means the intentional use of attention. Remember that 24 hours lang ang meron tayo. Mapamayaman ka o mapamahirap ka, parehas lang tayong may 24 hours. Ang difference lang noon is what you do with that 24 hours. Identify ka, full-time ka, part-time ka. Pero majority of nagsistart ng Yusana as part-time eh. So ako, I'm still part-time in the business. So I want to share you all my best practices on how I manage it. Um, Sometimes kasi, di ba, um... We get so overwhelmed with a lot of work to be done in in 24 hours. Pero eto lang naman kasi yung missing puzzle eh. Number one, you have to rain check kasi your daily schedule. Alam nyo ba yung planner nyo? Yung kalendaryo na yan? Naku, best friend yan dapat. Kasi alam mo yon. ako kasi in in my early years kasi I do not get a planner my my garbled lahat ng schedule ko, strike anywhere, ganyan ako. But alam mo, when I mature in the journey in, the, in my business, I learn na parang talagang kailangan laanan ng uh, specific time slots talaga ng activities. So do not rely on mental schedules. Guys, pitfall yan, mental schedules. Yung tipong, o oh, sige, si, si, eto, imi-meet ko ng 10 o'clock, mamaya meron ulit 5 p.m., mamaya may 7 p.m. na ko, guys. Pag yan, nagpatong-patong, I think you will get overwhelmed of your daily activities. Next is that you have to identify your activities in you sana kung part-time ka. Guys, ibig sabihin, lalo na yung mga alam mo yun, toxic like me, workaholic like me, di ba? So, um, 
we need to identify the IPAs, income producing activity versus non-income producing activity. What are these income producing activity, guys? Ito yung five fingers. Ito yung prospecting, inviting, presenting, closing, follow up, and the like, di ba? Yung mga non-income producing, nako, pwede yan mag-steal ng time natin kapag hindi tayo mindful about that. Ito yung mga akala natin, nag nag nagiging productive tayo. Ito yung clerical work, ito yung monitoring and stuff, di ba? So, you have to also identify your non-use sana ano, obligations, like in the family. I mean, you delegate na domestic obligations, di ba? So, very, very, ano dito, systematic yung tipong obligation wherein you try to leverage yourself. Yung tipong pag uwi mo ng ba or, or when you try to log out from work 5 pm so 5 pm to 7 or 10 pm is your you sana time so syempre pag uwi mo sa bahay magluluto ka pa or after you log off your uh, office hours magluluto ka pa i-delegate mo na yung magluluto ka pa di ba kasi hindi siya income producing it's not it's not that because paano yan doktor hindi na may, hindi na kami kakain so I-delegate nyo in such a way, kung may partner ka who can do it for you, i-delegate. Why? Kasi you are limited lang sa time. Di ba? Part-time na nga lang, nasa sacrifice pa yung yusana. Tama ba yon? So, anyway, next is that uh, you really have to plan and schedule it. Remember that um, the key is not to prioritize what's on your schedule. But to schedule your priorities. Kaya kailangan, ano, meron kang target, yung priorities na tina-target. Kasi, alam mo, without, ano, without specific priorities, it is like running your day randomly without any, ano, without any, ano, without any pacing. ba? So, very, very important talaga yung naka-ride siya, naka na written written priorities talaga. So remember that ano, um we have to learn how to say no. Yan, kasi that will really save you time. Meaning if it's not on the list of your priority, ay nako i na yan, guys. Remember I always quote Brian Tracy, 80/20 rule. If your 20% of active your 20% of activities will create the 80% of your results. So dapat alam mo on your toes ka kung hindi naman siya makaka magiging productive for you, ay i-x mo na siya on your schedule, 'di ba? Next Stop multitasking. So, Brian, alam mo, I've, I've been a victim of multitasking. Akala ko, akala ko magagawa ko lahat. Sabi ko hindi. Yung focus mo, hati. When you multitask, it's not 100% focus talaga. Sabi nga ni Sir Robert Kiyosaki, focus on one course until successful. And sabi ni Eric Worre, di ba, the thief of network marketing is lack of focus. So how do I deal with it? When I am in my clinic, this is before pandemic, I make sure talaga na ay alat, kunwari, after clinic hours, it's pure yusana, pure yusana. Pure training, pure training. Alam mo yon. there are times I, that the hospital calls me any time of the day and then I cannot, that is inevitable. Actually guys, that is inevitable when the hospital calls me. Lalo na if it's on a Saturday na cut off. Nako, grabe guys, ang experience ko dyan. Yung tipo magka-catch ako ng baby, tapos grabe, no? I was trying to shoot my goal on time, tapos may tawag, doktora, you have uh, no, cesarean section, ganyan, blah, blah, blah. Sabi ko, Lord, sana on time lumabas si baby. <laughs> Kasi magka-cut off pa ako. Di ba guys? Dapat hindi nawawala pa rin. And actually, it's really, it's really in the habit that you get that ano, um, focus. Pag na-practice nyo na na-practice yan, it's gonna be in that system already. So, another thing is that doing you sana guys. So, uh, kaway-kaway dyan sa mga ayaw talagang mag-adjust, di ba? Kaway-kaway dyan sa mga ayaw mag-set uh, ng sale, di ba? Doing you sana will require you to stretch. Grabe. It will require you to stretch. It will require you to adjust time. And it will really change your routine. And I call that the sacrifice. 
yung discomfort jan na hindi naman alam mo when when usually when I get out from my clinic it is that time na parang magre-relax na ako, magchi-chill na ako. I spend time with my doctor friends, 'di ba? We dine out ganyan. Pero when I when I'm in Yusana already, parang wala na 'yun, wala na. Parang sabi ko, um ang hirap, sabi ko ganoon. Pero alam mo 'yun, it will all boil down to the desire. Diba? So, rain check the desire. Pag nandun yung desire, kahit anong distractions outside, alam mo, it will, you, papara, paparaanan mo talaga siya. Eh. Paparaanan mo mag-adjust, paparaanan mo mag-stretch. Diba? And guess what? Kapag nag-sacrifice ka na, and nag-adjust ka na, and nag-stretch ka na, ibig sabihin, you are already accommodating change o oh, di ba so congratulations for you di ba so anyway the last thing is that um no to procrastination maraming beses niyo na talaga naririnig yung no to procrastination yan talaga yung pinaka culprit ng lahat eh yung enemy of time that is really the enemy of time remember ha Your 24 hours, napakabilis niyan. It really flies so swift that hindi mo namamalayan yung one minute lumipas na. Yung two minutes lumipas na until one hour na yung nakonsumong lumipas na. Good news. You are the pilot. You can still control and you have the ability to choose saan malalaan ang time natin. ba? Diba? So, um, always remember That time is non-renewable. So as your health. So ang tanungan natin ngayon is that where should you put the healthy life years? Kasi time bound din kung papalagay mo ang oras is may ano, may hangganan. Take note, ang health natin may hangganan din and proportional din siya sa time. Gets you ba? <laughs> so we are just limited to healthy lifespan. Ngayon, your age, you try to check. Oh, rain check tayo. I-minus nyo na yung age nyo sa nakikita nyo yung healthy life years sa screen nyo ngayon. If you can see that these are just the remaining years that you are healthy, you might as well make use of your time very, very wise. ba? Diba? So, This one will teach us kasi, di ba? Life teach us to make good use of time. While time teach us the value of life. Malapit na ako matapos kasi very short lang ito, di ba? Hence, guys, I challenge you to decide what is it that you want. You have to put it in writing. Make a plan. Work on it every single day. Sana ngayon na narinig nyo, three days na na pinag-uusapan ng time management, mag-sink in sa ating lahat na precious ang time and it's not, should should not be wasted talaga. I did not elaborate on activities anymore because I saw the first and second speaker with time management as in they really detailed on how you, that you would really manage. So I hope na kapag impart talaga ako ng valuable lessons to everybody and that would help um, propel our business no to greater heights. With that, thank you Ma'am Ivy and thank you Yusana Corporate for having me. Wow, thank you Doc Michelle. No, um actually Doc very short nga yung talk mo pero actually marami kaming natutunan Doc. <laughs> marami kaming napulot doon no, very Very clear and direct to the point naman yung, uh, yung reminders mo, Doc. So, thank you so much for that. Uh, sorry, my alarm is... Okay. Thank you so much for that, Doc. No? Um, napaganda po nung pagka, pagkalatag nyo yun ng mga tips niyo And um, ang daming nakarelate, Doc, actually, dun sa mga sinabi mo. No? Uh, may mga nakarelate sa chat. Very busy sila sa chat kasi nakakarelate sila mismo dun sa mga sinasabi mo how to prioritize. Yung nag-example ka dun sa hospital, may mga cesarean section, tapos ano. Um, very happy sila, Doc. Tsaka meron din mga nakarelate kasi yung parents nila doctor na kagaya mo na they need to prioritize. So, ayan, thank you so much doc for um actually we know that you took a lot of effort to 
to prepare for this one and to give us time for you to talk tonight, no? To talk to everyone in the call tonight. So, ladies and gentlemen, wag po natin sayangin yung pang uh, shinare ni Doc uh, Michelle. Ang dami niya po mga points, I, I think, no? Kasi yung reaction niyo, ang dami yung nakulot galing sa kanya. So, like I always say, um, minsan napakanda during the training, pero nakakalimutan natin i-apply. Wag po natin, don't allow that. So, whatever you learn tonight, whatever you... Uh, whatever inspiration you got from tonight, whatever notes you wrote from tonight's talk, uh, do something about it, okay? And um, thank you so much once again, Doc Michelle, and thank you everyone for joining us this evening. We wish you a great remainder of your uh, day, okay? Thanks, everyone.